Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the City Witch and today we're doing an unboxing video for March's The Witch's Moon box. So as always, no idea what the theme is until we open it up and see for ourselves. These boxes roughly cost about £69 in British money, $79 in American value and the shipping is completely free. They do also have a shop and all the information to purchase from their shop, their website, is on the description of the video. So if you do like what you see by the end of this, please go ahead and use the link to go and purchase one of these boxes for yourself or to see if any of the items in this box are available to purchase in their shop. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. So these boxes contain exclusive items. All the packaging is fully recyclable and they tend to focus on witchy products that you can use in your practice and on your altar. There are three boxes to choose from. The Witch's Moon is their master box and it tends to vary and change quite often. Then you have the Witch's Roots, which focuses upon your apothecary and your herbal and green magic. And then you have the Witch's Bounty, which focuses on magical talismans, jewellery, all made Made from real gold, silver or magical metals. So please go ahead and check those out as well. But for now, we're reviewing the Witch's Moon box. So I'm going to pop it here, open it up and I'll show you each item one at a time and then you'll get a close up at the end of the video. Ooh. So here we have our pamphlet which you get in every single box. And it says, the exclusive Witch's Besom collection. As you pass through the veil into the sanctuary, you find yourself captured by everything. Each item seems to be filled with a sense of life. The feeling of freedom and inspiration begin to overwhelm you. You catch a glimpse of something beautiful above the doorway. Before you can blink, your eyes are directed to the altar positioned in the centre of the space. Placed delica delicately upon the altar table sits the besom. As you pick it up, the smoke from the incense drifts in between each bristle, swirling around the handle and finally makes its way to the heavens. A faint whisper can be heard, the sweeper of storms. We have been developing this exclusive collection for a very long time and are filled with excitement to finally share these beautiful items with you. In this one-of-a-kind collection, we journey through the mundane to reach the magical, a place where intentions become purpose and power. It is our deepest intention that these items bring the gift of transformation to all of those who receive them. Beautiful. So I'm going to stop there because I do like to be surprised and then we'll check we have everything at the end. So I'll pop that over here. So as always, we get our oracle or tarot card. So for me, um, this looks like a crystal card. That is the back of it. Pretty decent card quality. So I'll check what deck this comes from for those of you who are interested. So, Chastelite. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's a protective grid. Chastelite comes from the Greek word chastos for cross because of the distinctive cross in the centre of the stone. Since ancient times, the cross has been used to ward off evil, making... Crystallite, a good crystal for protection. Used as an amulet or carried in your pocket, it provides a barrier of safety and security. Placed on your altar, it promotes a protective grid around the household. Affirmation. I call forth a protective grid to surround my home and family, blessing everyone with love and light. Do you know what? This is actually really apt for me at the moment because I've just been renewing all of my personal protections and wards, which is something I like to do around this time of year. And this is maybe telling me I need to get some of this crystal to go on my altar or incorporate in my wards. But I do think this matches exactly what I've been working on lately. So this was very well in tuned. So your oracle or tarot card reading is going to be unique to you. It's different for every single box and every person who receives them. So somebody else who reviews the box might get a completely different card to me or might get the same based on their energy because they are chosen intuitively. This card and the deck it comes from will be in the pamphlet. So I will let you know when I read that at the end right moving on so we have our look of shadows information here and our larger one as well 
So, sweeper of storms. This besom shall be born, the sweeper of storms. May the magic found within bring change in all forms. May the evil swept out be cast to the winds, hurt and harm no longer within. And may the beauty swept in be cast to the heart, abundance and love never to depart. And may this besom grant passage to the wandering worlds, to realms of spirits and guides, to the wild soul unfurled. And on this night, in the presence of the divine, I bind to this besom this intentional right. As I wield this besom, so mote it be. Oh, that's lovely. So there we go. So that is our incantation for those of you who want to work with your magical broom, which is what a besom is. Besom or be besom, <laughs> it depends how you pronounce it. But there we go. Ooh, then we have a amethyst sheet. That is gorgeous. Amethyst is one of my all-time favourite crystals. So I do really like this. So that is what we look, what it looks like, guys. Absolutely stunning. Look at the purples. That is absolutely amazing. I do hope that's showing up well on the camera because that is a beautiful, vibrant purple. So on this sheet, informational-wise, it tells you the composition, category, classification, system, and hardness of the crystal. You have a unique sigil, um, a couple of times that's been provided, actually, to work with this crystal. You have the name, and then you have it spelt out there in a witchy language. We have geographical sources, metaphysical number, we have the element, celestial influences, zodiac, chakra, description, uh, etymology, other names, compatible crystals, magical beings and magical properties. So it tells you everything you need to know about amethyst, guys. That is beautiful. And then we have a beautiful Book of Shadows page for our besom. And it tells us the element is air, celestial influence is the moon, planet is Mercury and Pluto. And then we have the history and the use of the besom and some information. And then again, we have a magical sigil that you can use. So again, I will show you a close up of all of these sheets. So don't worry too much, guys. There we go. So that's our first items. Then we have some incense, sage sweep. So we have sage fragranced incense so that you can cleanse your broom, your altar, your space. Oh, it smells amazing. I do like the smell of garden sage. What else do we have? So this is going to be our candle. There we go. So we usually get a candle in every single box so this one is a beautiful vibrant white and if you're careful guys you can peel these open and then you can dress the inside and place your petition and then stick them back you can dress the outside a little bit and then burn them as a petition spell if you do do that though please use only a little bit of oil and herbs a little bit goes a long way and fire safety guys so have it in a fireproof container and know that when it reaches the paper inside it's obviously going to go on fire so keep an eye on it and be careful with it and have maybe a fire extinguisher or some way to snuff it if it gets a little bit out of control and you're worried about it okay so always practice fire safety but that is a handy spell to do oh we have a cute little broom oh and it has an amethyst on it as well that's lovely we have a string so i'm assuming you're supposed to hang this one above your doorway lovely so that'll be one of our main items what we have in here ah, so we have our herbal ingredients so we always get some herbs in every single box we've got eucalyptus there we go we have spearmint oh, i love the smell of spearmint and then sacred space sweep herbal blend Ooh, nice so you could burn this on a charcoal disc when you are cleansing your space with the broom lovely so three herbs there. We have our oil. So sometimes it's a room spray, sometimes it's a magical oil. 
So this time we have a oil themed around our broom. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, that kind of smells like it has some peppermint or some kind of mint in it. There's a lot of ingredients in there. I don't know if you can see them very well, but it's packed full of roots and herbs and things. Lovely. Ooh, interesting. Oh, we have some soap. Nice. Peppermint sacred soap. Ooh, lovely. I'll show you the soap and get it out. <laughs> there we go. So we have some handmade soap. How lovely is that? Oh, it smells amazing. Can't wait to use that as part of my cleansing routine on a Sunday night. I'll wrap that back up. And there we go. Beautiful. Ooh, it looks like we have a book. I think that's everything. So our book is called The Witch's Broom, The Craft, Law and Magic of Broomsticks by Deborah Blake. Beautiful. I think I actually have this book in its paper pack version. Oh, look at the beautiful artwork. That is lovely. For my grandmother who proved that love was the greatest magic of all. Aww. So let's see what we have in here. So the contents includes an introduction to a witch and her broom. Uh, chapter one, brooms in history, tradition and law. Real witches, real brooms. Broom law, traditions and superstitions. The real witches, real broom by Judy Ikes. So we've got some like other people that have added stuff to this book by the looks of it. Uh, chapter two, the witch's broom in popular culture. So we have real witches, real brooms. So we have something by Blake Blair. Uh, broom basics. So the various woods and the magical associations, broom corn, birch twigs and other bristly things. Cinnamon brooms, anointing oils and herbs, useful tips. Chapter four, a broom of your own. So buying a broom, making your own magical broom. Then we have chapter five, fast and easy spells and charms, crafts and more. So quick spells and charms, fast and easy craft ideas, easy broomstick gift ideas, a modern witch's flying ointment and a simple, a simple guide to flying meditations. That's cool. Uh, chapter six, specialty brooms, ceremonial brooms, decorative brooms. Chapter seven, brooms for special occasions, hand fastening, housewarming, new baby, celebration of life, coven dedication, and chapter eight, brooms in ritual use. So consecrating and blessing your broom, protection ritual, removing negativity ritual, magical spring cleaning ritual, ritual to remove obstacles, nightmare prevention ritual, ritual for sweeping in love, interesting, and ritual for sweeping away illness and Samhain Halloween ritual. And then chapter nine, for the young witch, a magical moon and star child's broom, a special cleaning chant for the young. And then there is a conclusion, some acknowledgements, some recommended reading, and also an appendix of ruins that you can use and recommended reading. Awesome. So we've got a book list, recommended reading, and some ruins. And then let's just take a quick flip. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> so we've got some beautiful artwork throughout the book, it looks like. It's lovely. <laughs> Ways to decorate your broom, how to make your broom. This is lovely. So yeah, so we have a broom themed box this month. I think this has come into my life because like I said, I'm doing cleaning i'm doing cleansing purging and some protection work at the moment so this is a really excellent box for me at the moment so i'm quite chuffed with it yeah i think my favorite item though has got to be the book and then the book of shadows pieces and i really do like the soap it smells amazing the broom is cute however i do have brooms already and they're kind of my favorites you know when you just love something you're like Ooh, <laughs> I couldn't step away from it. So my broom was actually made 
for me and purchased by my witchy sister and I've had it for a long time. I've decorated it over the years. Um, I've embellished it, added charms to it. So it's kind of like my, my, you know, bestest broom in the world. Uh, this would make a really nice hanging above your door or to sweep your altar, something like that, because it's quite cute. So yeah, so I'll give you a close-up of every item, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on this month's box. Let's check we have everything before we complete the video, and I will give you a close-up. So we have... The Witch's Moon exclusive hardcover of the Witch's Broom, which we have. Uh, exclusive handcrafted ritual altar bezel. Uh, Sweeper of Storms Book of Shadows artwork. Uh, bezel Book of Shadows artwork in Amethyst Book of Shadows artwork. I'm assuming that we should have received an Amethyst. Because um, why give it Amethyst and then not a crystal? Because usually we do get a crystal, but I didn't actually get one. So I'll check that in a minute. So, hand-rolled and anointed Purity of Purpose spell candle. Ooh, nice. Exclusive besom oil, so you can obviously anoint your uh, broom with that. Handmade peppermint ritual sacred soap. Sage sweep ritual incense sticks. Eucalyptus spearmint and sacred sweep herb sprinkle blend. Personalised oracle reading and parchment. Oh, okay. So, actually, no. Usually we do get a crystal, but this time we didn't which is interesting. Um, so personalised oracle, if you want to know where that's from. So we have taken time to meditate over and select a card for you from the Crystal Blessings cards deck by Valencia Chan. So that is the deck, guys. Crystal Blessing cards. And then we have our spare parchment. So that is everything. So we do actually have everything. I just thought there was going to be an amethyst in here with us having amethyst artwork, but my mistake. <laughs> anyway, I will give you a close-up of every item. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Click the bell and YouTube will tell you when my next video comes out. If you'd like to offer like, love and support to my channel, you can do that through my Amazon wishlist or my PayPal link. And I do appreciate any of you that choose to support me. And as always, be good to each other. Take care of yourselves and may the gods bless you. Blessed be.